Good morning, coders. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm a little bit late. I do apologize. I do apologize. A little bit late this morning. But um, today we're going to be doing a bit of something a little bit um, a little bit different. We're going to be working on... Sorry, my uh, microphone's on a slant. I'm trying to work, work out why. Um, this morning we're going to work on the Hatka Well site. Um, I'll tell you why in a moment. And uh, we're going to work on the uh, some forms. We're going to add some forms to that. That is on a slant, isn't it? Slant, slanting like that. Strange. Let me just turn this around. There we go. That might be a bit better. There we go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So on Sunday, on the Sunday streams, uh, what we're going to do on this Sunday is we've, we're reviewing the, um, the the code. It's a code review, code review Sunday, I think I call it. Um, and it's um, w there's some code challenges on the How to Code Well uh, uh, website. Uh, if you go to code challenges um, dot how to code well dot net, I'll put that in the in the thingy. If I if I go into this screen, that would help. CodeChallenges.HowToCodeWell.net um, You'll see that we have this challenge here. This is what we're going to do on Sunday, okay? Which is why I'm doing the uh, the HowToCodeWell.net website, the, the up, updating that. This, today, instead of Sunday. Um, so I'll just copy that and I'll put it in uh, this month's Code Challenge. Code Challenge. There we go. If anybody wants to uh, join, they've got until Saturday to um, to do these challenges and then submit your challenge. Go to the Discord uh, server and, and uh, that'll be great. And I will review them live on Twitch. So, okay, so today we are going to work on the How to Code Well website. Hello, Tyranid. Thank you for joining. <coughs> Apologies for being a wee bit late this morning. Um, so today we're going to be working through the How to Code Well um, uh, site as we were playing with. It's running Gatsby. It's uh, using Ghost as a backend uh, for the blog at least. Um, and today I want to work through. This is the uh, this is the the ever growing ever growing task list. And you can see I've done a bunch of stuff already, even a bug. Um, I want to be working through this bit here. Create user forms. So there's two forms, the profile form and the security form. There's a whole bunch of other forms that I haven't, that I've added to perhaps other tasks, um, such as login form, password form, you know, updating your password form, um, which I guess is the security form, to be honest. But there's also um, uh, resetting of the uh, password, so forgotten password form, all of those kind of things. So there's lots of, there's a bunch of forms, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> there's a bunch of forms. Um, we're going to, we'll start with the profile form first. Uh, so we've got first name, last name, email address, and save button. This is to reach the MVP. So eventually, obviously, these forms are going to be a little bit more complicated. But I'm trying to set these tasks to be a, this, to, to focus on the MVP. What is the minimum viable thing that I want this website to do uh, on the first iteration of the release. And for me, I want people to, when they log in, uh, to change their first name, last name, an email address, and obviously there needs to be a save button. Um, with the security form, uh, current password, new password, and confirm password. That's the, yeah, that's the requirements there. But obviously, Later on, there'll be um, the ability to, uh, to have possibly two FA and all of that stuff. But I don't think that needs to be for the MVP straight away. So, <coughs> okay. Now, uh, an interesting caveat to all of this is that um, I will admit, I will admit, I've never done HTML forms in Gatsby. And um, the reason why is that I've always used a third party to do that. <laughs> like a, you know, a third party contact form and then sort of link that in. Um, so this is going to be interesting. This is new territory, new, new, uh, new territory for me to play with. 
And um, I am thinking of using um, uh, form, uh, formic, formic. I think they call it formic. Formic is. It was mentioned on the um, Gatsby uh, documentation, and it looks pretty good. To be fair, I've only I've only been I've only read the documentation for about you know uh, 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 last night and the night before, so. <laughs> But it makes it kind of makes a bit of sense. So it's used by a bunch of people as well, which is good. That's always good. It's not just um, you know something that doesn't get updated frequently and used by hardly any. So yeah, that looks good. So um, I think I've gone and removed the tab. It was Gatsby. JS forms, adding forms. Okay. Um, does this web website have a dark mode? Yes, it does. Thank you. Phew. Um, okay. So this is a sort of a documentation as to adding forms and stuff, um, which really starts about here. And now you can add some more form inputs. Um, so this is how you would normally do it in Gatsby however it then goes on and talks about you know handling forms and um, setting states and doing input changes and and then as you can see the form starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then down here it says um, you can use the fantastic react form libraries like form uh, ick or final form to speed up your development process uh, so I think we might play with those now something I've already done um, which is cool is if I go to PHP Storm here, um, we have a whole bunch of te uh, changes that I've already implemented, including tests. We have tests, we have acceptance tests, and we have help and we have unit tests. Um, so the tests are uh, written in Jest, um, uh, which seems to be okay. Um, as, a, as, a, as a sort of a testing suite and the acceptance tests are written are still in jest however they use a tool called nightmare <laughs> and nightmare is a a nice little little thing that spins up an electron um, way of accessing your website um, which I like I really like so, for instance, if we go to the um, if we go to uh, uh, blog here, so <coughs> what this does, what this does is I'm running a, a helper here called Visit, and um, it, it will access the slash blog, and then it will evaluate the page, making sure that it has this word. Um, and then on the home page, you know, it do, kind of does the same. Um, but you can go far more in depth with this. You can you can actually get Nightmare to click buttons and submit buttons and go from page to page. And in the helpers in the visit, what it's doing is it's setting up Nightmare. Um, uh, and here we've got some um, uh, how, the, the, the how to code well um, base URL. And then this is the um, the the link that you pass. Whoops. There we go. Um, and it changes the URL location, so returns nightmare go to location. And then in here you can put in a bunch of um, uh, uh, settings if you want. And yeah, it, it it so far it's working okay. There's a bit of a fiddle to to configure, but it it, it was okay. The configuration is done in, um, well, it's in all sorts of places, to be honest. So, <coughs> uh, this is the jest.config. Um, why am I saying this? Why am I even talking about this? Well, it's it's because I would like to run or have some acceptance tests against these forms. Uh, whether or not we do those today, I don't know. But um, it would be nice to go through and actually start clicking through and, and you know, writing a form and submitting the form and seeing what happens. 
<coughs> now obviously there's no back end for this yet um, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm, my approach is that I'm going to work on the front end first and then and then um, uh, through that I will decide the what I need user journeys create the back end then wire them all to, up together so it, it, it's not a it's not a quick day thing <laughs> um. <coughs> okay yeah <laughs> just because I want to keep things simple <laughs> So, <clears throat> okay, so let's go and let's get started. Let's start working through this. Now, um, I, I tell you, I'll show you the website as it stands. If I go to how to code well dot local. Now this is running off of, if this runs, yeah. Now this is running off of the production version, I suppose, when you do Gatsby build. Um, and if I clicked on the blog, uh, whoops, 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 I haven't wired up that, uh, that thing. If I have to go to blog, I haven't wired that up, bit up yet, the actual navigation. This is the blog. This is running off of um, uh, the Ghost CMS, and the images are coming through via AWS S3. Um, so that bit is sorted, which is nice. Um, and when I run... If I go to the package package.json, when I run um, when I run uh, the 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 far the, 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 <laughs> the scripts here, we have the test and we got the test acceptance and test unit. So with test acceptance, what it's doing is it's doing a Gatsby clean and then a Gatsby build because it cl cleans and then builds it, create, puts it in sort of a, a production-esque mode, I guess you would call it. And then it's running the jest hyphen u hyphen t acceptance test. Um, with units, it's doing the unit tests. And if you notice, all of these end with unit test, right? So this is how I'm identifying the unit tests versus the um, uh, the, the non-unit tests and these are acceptance tests. Um, and then I think there is the just the test which runs the acceptance test and the NPN, uh, uh, the acceptance and the unit test. So that's how it works. Um, I think we've already heard of this. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> so, that's cool. So I have that already in, in play. Um, so let's go to SRC. Let's create a folder in components. We're going to call this form. <laughs> Groovy. Okay, and we're also going to have, um, we're going to create, it's the profile form. Now, do I want to call it profile? Let's just go back to the uh, to the brief here. So, it is a profile form. Uh, it needs first name, last name, email address, and save button. I guess we could call it the profile form. And if I go over to the uh, GitHub, sorry, here we go. Essentially, this is what I kind of need to do. However, however, I want to see if I can work it through a uh, form ick. So if I go to the docs, <coughs> uh, so it's N npm install form ick save. Or you can use the CDN if you wish. But this is what I, I, I kind of need to do here. So we've got, um, that would be profile form. And these this would be how you validate uh, the initial values. And then you have your, your form bits and pieces here. However, you can start Hello reducing the, the boilerplate. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Loth Sun. Thank you very much for following. Hello, hello, hello. 
Um, yeah. So I, th as I was going through this down, you know, scrolling down and down and down, I can you can see that it's actually slowly reducing the the boilerplate somewhat. You start importing bits and pieces from uh, Form Ick. So that's pretty much where I want to land. Okay, let's let's get this running. Let's start. Let's break stuff. I know, right? So much. Uh, is there a dark mode in here? Please tell me there is, because this is really white. It's not. Don't worry. Uh, the Gatsby documentation does. <laughs> Apologies. Um, okay, I need to. I'm going to go back now to that. Sorry. Eyes. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to uh, spin up. Uh, code, I want to code well, and it was, is it portal? Totally forgotten where it is. Yep, portal. Ah, it's like a... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's install that. <coughs> no worries. <laughs> Where are you based? Where are you based? I'm I'm in the UK and it's 7:37 already. Uh, don't worry about this error. This is just a, a Python error. Just a Python. it's just a Python error. <laughs> no, this here, this is a problem with my machine. Uh, the version of Python is 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 not great. Um, there's a problem with it, but it doesn't actually affect the build, which is interesting. Uh, oh, Midwest, uh, Midwest US, nice. Okay, groovy. So that's gone through. That's been added. Um, Sorry about that, it's gone white again. Scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, we'll, we'll start working on probably this one, I think. The code above is very explicit about having what form ick is doing on change, handle the change on blur, and so on. However, to save you time, form ick comes with a few extra components to make life easier and less verbose. Um, such as form, form, uh, form field, error message, uh, they use React context to hook into the parent form ick state methods. Um, so let's just work through this, I guess. Uh, that would be a good win. <clears throat> okay. I wonder if I could just copy it. <laughs> so, that would be called, cool, because uh, we're working in for here. Profile form. Let's see if we can bend it to our will, shall we? So, we definitely need the email form. We don't need the password form, not yet. But we do need, if I go over to the, uh, the brief, we need first name and last name. Okay, so if we scroll up, where's the uh, errors.email? If values.email. Initial values are email and password. So I guess this is where we need to start. Let's remove password because we don't need that. We need first name. And we need last name. Okay, let's go and apply that to here. So we have, uh, we don't have the password. first name and I'm going to put that in there as well last name never used this before never done this before so this is all new if I, if you're seeing this and you're going what on earth are you doing man let me know uh, first name and last name 
Uh, that looks good. Scroll back to the top. Okay, so that's gone through. Uh, we definitely need the email. That's good. On submit. Is that what I need to change? <coughs> Did I? Yeah, I think that I think I'm following convention here. So error message na name is email. Uh, error message here name is last name. I'm guessing this is going to be this is going to associate to to those. If I go over to the uh, to the uh, to wherever it is, it's gone. <laughs> here we have error message email, error message password, and then we have the fields in between. So I think that's that's working. That will work. I guess what I should do is just run it and see. What I really should have done, to be honest, <laughs> is I should have ran it before I did the changes, just so I had some some sort of control test. <laughs> uh, oh, have I? Ah, oh. email, email, first name, first name. It's the first name on the field, last name. Oh wow! This see, this is what happens when you <laughs> when you don't have enough sleep. Okay, thank you for that, Lothar. <laughs> so yes, you're right. So that's fine. That's fine. This, however, is incorrect. <laughs> I'm actually missing a whole thing. Silly Billy. Um, in fact, if you think about it, this is completely the wrong order <laughs> uh, because email I'm going to put at the bottom like that first name first name then this is last name thank you for this <laughs> there we go first name let's just divide these up just to you know make it a little bit easier for me to see first name first name that's good last name last name email email and then we have our little nice little submit button Groovy. Okay, I'm going to need to build a page, aren't I, for this? Uh, we have the index page here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, I haven't really worked out how to... Um, hmm, I haven't really sort of decided on a, a structure of things yet. So... Um, but let's see if I let's do um, let's just do profile. I just need something to land on. So profile.js. Um, and what we're going to do here in the container is we're going to import. Um, let's remove all of that stuff. Is we're going to um, we're going to import. Um, oh, let's have a look. What have I done? I've. <laughs> that's another thing I've probably messed messed up. Uh, why is the type last name and not text? Type. Oh. Okay. So what happens is I think um, the. No, you are right. You are absolutely right, aren't you? This should be text. Wow. And so should this one. <laughs> yeah, that is correct, isn't it? Because that's email, and then you would have had the password. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Gosh, wow. <laughs> Sometimes I question myself. <laughs> you know, how long have I been doing this for? <laughs> Is it really me? Although I've I've literally just woken up, so that's my excuse. And I haven't had a tea yet. So because I didn't have time to make a cup of tea. Um, so you know, an Englishman without a cup of tea in the morning. 
You're going to get errors. You're going to get bugs. Um, <laughs> okay, so profile.js here, what we're going to do is... Um, uh, we don't need to worry about that. That's going to set that to false. This is just boilerplate stuff. It's just boilerplate stuff. Um, we're going to import the profile. Profile form from uh, components forms. Is that form? There we go. And then it's uh, profile form. I think that's how I've done it. And then here, profile form. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's see. If I go to here and do Gatsby develop. Uh, will I be enabling autocomplete? Um, quite possibly. Quite possibly. However, I'm, I'm just trying to work uh, against the MVP first, and then I'll perhaps put that in uh, later on on certain bits and pieces. Can't resolve profile form. Oh dear. Uh, generating development JavaScript bundle. Why? Component form profile form. Profile form is here. Oh, is it because I'm not? I'm not um, ex exporting it. Let's just uh, yeah. Let's just do that again. Do, 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 do. No, still having a problem. Component form profile form in SRC pages. Hmm. Uh, profile form, profile form, profile form. They're all spelt right. Components, there is a problem here, I think. Let's marry that up to here anyway. Just make sure we're following convention. Components with an S. There we go. Form. Profile form. There we go. Yes, you're right. Thank you for that, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. My spelling is atrocious. Right, okay, so let's see if we can get this to run, shall we? <laughs> now what's wrong? Can't find variable index on profile.js. Index, 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 index. Okay, oh, oh, Mr. Fisher. Right, apologies for that. <laughs> so, element is invalid, expected a string, but built in components or class function for composite components got an undefined. Um, you likely forgot to export your component from the file it's defined in, or you might have a mixed up the default and named imports. Check the render method of profile. <coughs> okay, 20 minutes later. Oh yes, I have spelled the wrong thing. Um, okay, uh, let, okay, okay, okay. Let's see now. Let's. Just 
compare that to, say, the postcard here. Hmm. Export default profile form. Ah. See if we can refresh that. There we go. Okay, so uh, we do have the forms, but they're white, as uh, uh, Lawson has um, <laughs> has mentioned already. So these are, can you see? They are the forms, but uh, because I haven't got any styling with them, uh, they are white. And then we have the submit button here. Uh, we don't have any labels either. Let's have a look. Show Web Inspector. I'm using Safari today. So you probably can't see all this, uh, but uh, being that if I bring it up here. So we've got the form. It's a bit small on the screen, I apologize. Um, first name, and then it's type of text, obviously. Uh, input here is the email and then the last name, but we don't have any f labels. Um, and also, Safari, the new IE, yes. Um, I've started to use a little bit more Firefox these days. I used to use it all the time, but um, then I got a, a, a Mac and decided just to use the built-in browser. Um, okay. So we need some styling, really, don't we? We need to style this thing. <coughs> um, what I'll do is I'll put some styles here and then I'll put them up into the UI library. I'm not gonna bother with that today. Um, so, we're going to have inputs. Um, I'm going to give them, actually, thinking about it, we're using Tailwind. Let's see if we can find some built in bits and pieces. Tailwind.css. Uh, form. Is there anything in here for forms? Yes, there is. Marvelous. Cool. Um, so, shadow appearance none, border rounded. Okay. So that will helps to build that up. Let's see if we can p apply some of these inline forms as well. Scroll down, form grids. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Not just your spelling, though, son. My spelling. <laughs> My spelling is terrible. It just is in general. Uh, underline form. Not worried about those. Custom selects. No, not bothered with those. Um... Do I want to worry about the form grid? I guess we could play with that, couldn't we? Um, let's just create though. Let's start putting in some, some of this stuff. So that's the error message. Yeah, all right, let's grab... Um, Let's start at the top here and let's grab some of this stuff. Actually, I'm not bothered with the shadow. That's just, let's, let's not overcomplicate it. Yeah, let's grab this. And in the profile form itself, um, I wonder if I can add in the first name, I wonder if I can do uh, class name is equal to <clears throat> is it going to let me do that? <clears throat> let me see uh, find the 
find the thing. That would be good. That's the... Uh, where did my local host go? Here we go. Okay, so there we go. Um, and then we'll apply the same thing for the, uh, the last name. And we'll just see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to talk about the design in a minute. Um, just to warn everybody that I'm going to bore everybody by talking about the design. Um, and then the email as well. I think I'll grab a cup of tea and then I'll come back and I'll ask the des I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the design. If that's okay. Well, I've done that on the error message. No. In there. Cool. Okay, that's looking relatively okay. Let's, um, you know, it's better than it was at least. Um, we can also work on the buttons as well. If I scroll up to the top, we can see that we have a button here. Um, we'll grab that. I might, um, I'll, I might eventually put all of this in like um, a div itself. So, button, class name, and, nope, that button's gone. That's weird. Um, okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's just not mess around with that for a minute. I think I have gone and screwed up my buttons. There we go. Right, I'm just going to grab uh, a cup of tea because I'm really gasping for a cup of tea and then I'll be back. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about the design, the actual design of the website because I have some ideas. Um, yeah, Tailwind is great. I love it. Tailwind is great. It's um, I've used it on a lot of my personal projects um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's working really well. Working really well. Right, I'm going to grab a cup of tea. I will be back very, very soon. I will speak to you in a few minutes.
Hello, 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 hello. So, a couple of things I want to talk about. Firstly, sort my mic out. Firstly, um, it's Murphy's birthday today. Well, his six month birthday today. We've managed to look after him for six months. <laughs> Murphy is my um, English Springer Spaniel. Um, currently getting a lot of a lot of love downstairs, cuddly waddly. But he's six months today. That's crazy, isn't it? How time flies. Um, let me see. Yeah. This is the pup. This is the pup. So I was just having a bit of a cuddle with him downstairs. He's six months today. <laughs> wow, time flies. And if I scroll to the bottom, if, if I can actually do it, we've got so many posts on here, I can actually show you what he looks like when, when we first got him. Um, look at that, look at that. Look how cute he was. Wow, aww. So cute. Forgive me for having that moment. <laughs> Look at that little cutie face. I'll scroll right back up to the top. This is what he's like six months later. Down the line. <laughs> cutie Rudy. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about the design. <laughs> so the design of this website. Um, I'm not a designer. I'm not a designer. I'm not even going to um, attempt to to even think that I'm designing this website, not at all. Um, this website is going to be used for How to Code Well. It's the website which will host um, the courses, the blog. It's going to have some you know, user journeys, user, in user interactions. People are going to be able to log in. Uh, they're going to be able to see their previous courses. And they're also, um, you know, they, they can, there'll be a, a subscription model behind it as well where people can subscribe or purchase uh, premium courses that I've created on programming and all of this stuff. So it's going to hopefully um, be the platform for how to code well on the net. Um, and I want to make it, you know, as good as I possibly can do. There is obviously an MVP that I have to, I, I've, I've sort of set myself to do as the first iteration. And I have many, many, many features that I would like to add on to it later. So there's a lot of stuff in my head and also written down on notebooks. And also, of course, in our... Um, our, uh, our our board here the the if I go to this screen here apologies if I go to the uh, the board there's lots of stuff to build and there's far more than this right so <coughs> um, I'm looking for a designer I'm looking for a web designer I'm looking for someone who can take this to the next level if I show you it's very embarrassing but if I show you what it currently looks like It's, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, it's not good. It's full of um, rubbish ads and stuff like that, which I don't want. You know, I want this to be a proper looking professional premium sort of course site for how to code well with integrations into things like the, uh, the, the Twitch. So when I go live, you know, there's, there's perhaps things on the screen that says Pete's now live, that kind of thing. Click on here, click on this link to, to, to see. I, I would like to integrate it with the, um, the, the Teespring shop that we have, um, where you can get your awesome mugs if you want, and, and other bits and pieces. <laughs> um, I also want it to be integrated with, um, well, I'm gonna be building a bunch of um, APIs in the back end for this to work. Um, so we've got the ghost back end. Um, if I clicked on what like, uh, let's, let's click on this one for instance to start the course. <coughs> so um, uh, there's, there's ghost for the blog. At the moment the blog is just um, uh, uh, like this. It doesn't look good at all, you know, you know, there's lots of problems with the margins and everything. It's just terrible. Um, I built this because I needed to have something on the net for how to cope well. 
Um, and then, you know, I'm a freelancer. Things started to get incredibly busy. So um, I, you know, I, I had to drop it, unfortunately. You know, the look and feel of all of this stuff. So, I mean, the, these are very old. This was actually running off of a Python script to, 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 to call upon the, the YouTube API to then pull back the latest um, blog posts. These are YouTube videos from that are tagged in the, the blog post playlist. Um, but the Python script failed, stopped working. Uh, I think my Docker containers just didn't, um, there was a problem with one of the versions of Python, and so whatever. Um, I haven't had a chance to look that up and sort it sort it out. Unfortunately, um, it, you know this is just the way things go, and then things start getting tired and haggard and and all of this stuff. I really want to focus and push to get this up and running properly this time round. Um, <clears throat> and also, I'm doing uh, on the Tuesday streams and usually on today's streams. I'm working through the PHP Design Patterns course. Um, so this is going to be a new course that I'm doing, which will be sort of the first proper course, I guess. Well, not proper course, where we, we have courses, of course. We've got um, many courses. But this is going to be the first one on the new platform, I hope. Which means, I, you know, I want to make a big song and dance out of it. Um, and also, there's going to be after that the, the JavaScript Fundamentals course that I'm doing, uh, which will be the, the follow of the next course. <clears throat> But I've also got courses, and this brings up the um, this brings up the difficulty, I suppose, a little bit. Um, I've got courses that I've developed for publication companies outside of How to Code Well, obviously. So, for example, Docker in Motion, uh, I did for if I clicked on this, Manning Publications. Um, if I can click on the link. It's a bit slow. It's a bit weird. Why is it a bit slow? Come on. There we go. <laughs> so this is Docker in Motion. Um, teaches you Docker, um, as you would kind of imagine. <laughs> um, but I've also done, I've also done courses for Pact, uh, Pact publications. So, for instance, I have the Hands-on Microservices uh, course. That I did is this is a Python course, um, and also I've done Python clean coding, ma master Python clean coding course as well, and I'm working on some others too. So there is courses that I've got that I've developed for um, uh, myself. Some are in Udemy, some are in Skillshare, some are free on YouTube, and I've built courses for publication companies. So I want to kind of have a website where people can can uh, get these courses, and obviously if they're from an external source then they would get them from those things and click onto that. Or if they, if, if it was a, based on the subscription model, they could get the course from me. Um, so there's, a, there's, there's gonna be like a members area, basically, uh, and a course area, I guess, which this doesn't really do very well. Um, if I was to click on the free courses and click on start course here, you can see all of the, you can, you can see there's a, a bunch of, this is like running off of a playlist. Um, off of YouTube um, but I want this to be much bigger and I want to have course notes and I want to have um, uh, you know code that you can download and all of this kind of awesome stuff that you would expect from a website that is a course website that you can go and learn from um, the reason also why I want to drop the adverts on the site is that um, there are, or the drop the adverts at least on the videos, is that um, there are, you know, people, universities who do go and look for how to code well content, but then they're bombarded by the adverts on the YouTube videos, which is why I'm pushing all of my videos, not only to YouTube, but also other places that I have to pay for, which doesn't have adverts, which then I can then offer to the subscri subscribed users. Huh. So there is an awful lot involved here. <clears throat> and I can't design it because I don't know how to. I'm not. I'm not a designer. So I'm looking for a designer. I'm looking for a web designer. Um, that's my spiel. Which means that as I develop this website, I'm not actually that fussed about how it looks because I know that eventually it's going to look a hundred times better because someone is going to um, give it a lick of paint, right? 
and um, it's you know I think I think if I can get someone in who can who can t who who I can talk to talk about talk with uh, and give all of my sort of ideas and thoughts and then they can go away and come up with some some static designs say three or four of them um, and then I can I can sort of choose and navigate the different things that's kind of what I'm looking for so if anybody out there is is a designer then please let me know I mean I know some designers myself personally um, but I'm I'm interested I'm you know this is a community thing so you know we have the discord server and if there is people on the discord server who are designers or no good designers then uh, please put them in touch because I will be very very thankful uh, let me put the music back on. So yeah, that was my spiel. I need a designer! <laughs> okay, so let's crack on with this. So we, we, what we're doing here is we're creating some uh, fields, first name and last name, and, and bits and pieces. I guess before I even move any further, what we should do is start writing some tests for this. So what I'm going to do in um, our test folder here, if I can find it up there. We're going to do some acceptance tests first. Now I'll run, I'll run the acceptance tests as they stand. Let's bring, bring this up as a new, uh, a new thing. Um, now as I mentioned before, we're using Jest. Uh, so if I was to go into that um, directory and do npm um, ba, 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 ba. it's npm run test acceptance. So as I said, it's going to rebuild. Because it's, it's having to use it on a, on a, uh, a clean version, I guess. Okay, so these are the tests. Um, it will skip the units and it will run the acceptance tests. I believe there is one that is failing and I think that is course because I don't have a courses page yet, but it's a failing test. It's a test that I know that needs to work. Um, course was not found. So what we can do is we're gonna create another test and we'll call this profile. So this is a profile acceptance test. Um, and we want to test that it displays the form. We want to go to slash profile. Now I haven't decided yet on the URL structure. Um, it could be members profile or what have you. Um, we want to make sure that it contains uh, the the um, the inputs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the Jest documentation documentation for how to do that. Um, actually, it's not Jest; it's Nightmare. They have a link to their API. Okay, here we go. So you go to a page, you can um, you can type into a form nightmare, and then you can click, and then you can wait. So, how what am I what I what would I like to test? I would like to test uh, actually filling out this form. That would be what I <coughs> what I do. So let's see if I can t uh, fill this form out already. Let's go to uh, this one here. I really do need to change Ghost uh, Gatsby Starter. Before I do anything, let me. can I just put this down as a task for myself, please? Otherwise, I will just not do it. So this is um, change um, 
page titles. The page titles are based on um, default Gatsby. Gatsby JS. Um, now I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that in there. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably think about that in the SEO sense. But anyway. <clears throat> so, okay, that's cool. What we want to do is we want to fill out this form, don't we? And what I'm going to try and do, let's find it. What happens if I hit the submit button? That's required. Something's required. <laughs> that's not good. I need to have more text that says required but if I did that then it's invalid email address okay hit submit yeah all right so that they're the things I'm, I want to test for so if I go over to the um, the docs here um, not that one not that one not that one not yes th this one here uh, I wish github had a dark mode so go to, that's already done, type and then click. And then wait for the results and then evaluate the selectors. Okay. Let's do it one at a time. So we're on go to. Go to is the visit. Because if I go to uh, here, that's what we do. So. Let's not worry about this stuff yet. So what I want to do is go to type and the form, I believe, is first name. And we're going to put in the first name of Peter. We're going to also fill out the last name as well. Now we're not going to, oops, we're not going to put in the email address. We should. Uh, get the required thing. So we're going to now click on the button. And let me just see what that button is called. If we go over to here, develop show web inspector, scroll, 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 scroll. Doesn't have a name. Doesn't have a name. Um, and also these are running off of IDs. Okay, no worries. I will put in a, a I'll put in some um, some IDs I think for these things. If we go over to the uh, components form profile form. So I need to put in some um, IDs. ID here is save. <clears throat> ID up there is going to be first name. Yes, Lint is getting very angsty. I haven't actually been able to set it up yet. So get ES Lint to um, accept that I'm using Jest. I was trying to play with it last night and it's still giving me those uh, under underlines. I think perhaps what I need to do is stop using PHP Storm for JavaScript um, and use something a little bit better. Um, for JavaScript for a client work such as WebStorm or VS Code because um, I don't think all the integrations are um, are as good um, or I might just use the uh, what do they call it 
IntelliJ has a um, or idea. I forget what they're called now these days. They have this. They have this sort of all-encompassing IDE that does a lot of stuff. I also use P uh, I, I use PyCharm for um, Python work. First name, last name, email, save. And it does get a little bit annoying when you're jumping through different projects. One minute it could be working on JavaScript, next minute it could be working on PHP, and another minute I could be running um, Docker, MySQL, uh, MySQL, sorry, and then um, obviously Python. So it does get a little bit, you know, jumping from one thing to the other, and then you've got to remember to, you know, that you have certain IDE configuration in one and not in the other. Anyway, anyway, so there we go. Um, that should be wired up. Uh, there was a problem reading. Da, 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 da. Oh, don't worry about that. Not yet. Um, then we're going to wait. So we click the button. I'm not sure we need to wait. And then we evaluate the selector. And then. Um, we expect the link to be that. Okay, fine. All right, what I need to do here is I need to make sure why is this? I have actually broken it. Oh, is it because I'm no longer running the... the develop? Oh, I love tea. I'm starting to wake up now. Okay, there is an error. Let me bring this down. Create components. Undefined is not an object evaluating. That blah, blah, blah is not a. Um, okay, what have I done? Possibly something to do with. It is, it's nice and warm at the moment. That's why you probably see me drinking it frequently. Um, cold tea tastes like soap. So um, don't ask me how I know how, what to soap tastes like, but it doesn't taste good at all. Um, so, what's wrong here? Is it because I'm putting some IDs in? IDs, IDs, IDEs, IDs in. Um, cold tea. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> now, do you enjoy, say, uh, PG tips cold or is it a green tea thing because that's a different thing because if you have flavored tea and it's cold it actually does taste nice especially like mint Co uh, cold mint tea does sound nice but what I'm talking about uh, is um, <laughs> you're from the US is, is that just your uh, <laughs> your excuse I'm from the US <laughs> fair dues do you have milk in your tea I like my milk and tea. Oh, just regular tea. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's weird, isn't it? Because I'm not a fan of cold tea, and yet I really like cold coffee. Um, oh, that, uh, that in the summer, with some ice. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. No milk, just cold, just cold tea with no sugar. Huh. Fair play. Fair play. I don't have any sugar either. Um, I'm thinking this could be something to do with the IDs. Let me just uh, see if I can do a, a big control Z. And then, hopefully, no. What have I done? I'm not actually sure what I've done, to be honest. Um, oh, there's an ID in the save. Let me 
do a clean build. Ah, oh, see, see, I've always taken the opinion that T is there for dunking things in. So I. <laughs> so if there's a biscuit at hand, you know, and I've got a cup of tea, then the biscuit's not safe. Whoa, why is this doing many redirects? That's really weird. I've never seen that before. Ah, stop it. Oh, I think I know what's going on here. I've confused my browser. That's just, that's just, yes. I had this the other day. Um, it was heavily cached. Oh dear. No, that's still failing. And it's going a bit cray cray. Let me open up a new. Let's let's bring it up in um, Chrome for a second. Okay, Safari, you suck. Hello, <laughs> coders. Ah, uh, hey, Kappa Arthur, how's it going? Woo, hello. Yeah, I think Safari is just getting a little bit confused. The fact that I'm having to, I'm doing rebuilds and builds and all of this stuff and tests and stuff, it's getting a little bit nuts. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna use Chrome. Because <laughs> Chrome makes sense of, sense of it all. Um, Right, I'm gonna put this all the IDs back. So let's just do local history, show history. Um, and it was probably that one here. First name, last name. Um, do I have one on the email? Type, no. What about that one? Uh, yes, and then we're gonna revert back to this one. Groovy, okay, let's see if I can refresh this. Are you gonna have a free count moment? No, Chrome for the win. <laughs> I think I might just change to Chrome, you know, during this development. So, okay, back to the test. So what we want to do is we want to uh, put in first name, last name, and then hit save. Um, and then after that, uh, I'm going to wait for some results and the results are going to be shown down here, I believe, if I clicked on submit, we have this. If I go into uh, view developer dev tools, open up here, this is going in a little div called require uh, where we've got the error messages. So I need to put in a little sort of ID on here or some sort of class to, to find that out. So in the profile form, um, where is all of these errors living? These errors seem to be living in... That can get removed. Form, form, error message. That's weird. Where are they go going? Let me think. The div looks like it's coming outside of the form. So if we submit that again, or inside the form after, above the button. So how do I control that? Let's see if I can go over to uh, form kit and have a look. Error message. Error message is a component that renders error messages of a given field. If it finds that a message has been visited uh, and the error message is present, it expects that all error messages are stored for a given field as a string. Fine, okay, okay, good. But where does it populate it? Error message, oh, no. Unless maybe this is, this here is the actual error message for that. 
and maybe this. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the case. So let's let's change the ID. Yeah, co component. That's probably why, isn't it? So let's do um, ID here, and we do we equal this to email error. Let's see if that um, if that theory is correct. So uh, let's refresh the page. Hit submit, and then go into there. Do we have yes error email? There we go. Good. Um, Jared's asking, uh, does the ghost editor work on Chrome? That's a very good question. <coughs> Let me have a little look. I've never done it. If I can remember the... Uh, hang on. Two seconds. Bear with me, Mo. Um, let's drag that down there, Mo. Give me a second whilst I fiddle about. Just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, cool. Does it work in Chrome? Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> in short, let me see if I can just bring all these things around. There we go. Woohoo! Um. That's not Chrome. Hold on, give me a minute. That's Chrome. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is Chrome. Uh, this is Chrome, this is Ghost. Um, and you can see, if I go on to the, uh, one of these things, I think, because I was having problems before with the editor screwing around. This is what Tyranid's asking, uh, I think. Um, because I was doing this and then it would crash um, on Safari because Safari sucks. Um, but so far, just clicking about, I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna even attempt to do this on Safari because it will crash. And it, when I say it crashes, it crashes badly. Like Safari just goes on lockdown. Um, but yeah, no, that, that seems to be good. However, I'm not going to test it any more than that, just in case. <laughs> so yeah, this is our ghost backend, by the way. Um, and the ghost backend, um, if I go to blog, these are the, um, as you can see, it needs to be designed much better. Uh, this is the, if I get rid of the, that, the blogs. So this um, sends an API to that whenever Gatsby gets built and generates all of these things uh, in Ghost. And in Ghost there's there's other things like uh, pages and tags and other bits and pieces. Um, I won't go into all of this stuff uh, in today's stream though. <coughs> but it's how I'm going to create the content, not for the courses, uh, but for the blog and the podcast eventually. Although the podcast site, uh, howtocodewell.fm, is running in Sculpin, which is a PHP static site generator. Um, so yeah, interesting interview coming up on Friday, by the way. Um, very, very interesting. We're talking uh, 
I won't give it away. No, I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to give it away. But uh, do check it out on Friday. Interesting. I'm not going to give it away because I'm still... Um, tonight, I'm, I'm going through the edit. <laughs> so just in case I spot anything in it. <laughs> okay. Let's bring all of this stuff back up. Uh, okay, so that was just um, here. Okay, we've, we've added the email error, which means that in our profile, in our acceptance tests, what we can do is we can wait for that to, to be populated, to have things in. I'm not actually too sure whether I need to do a wait, to be honest. I think I could just do an evaluation of that. Because it's not like it's... Um, it's not like it's... Uh, uh, you know, having to make a call in it to anything, an external thing. Um, let's just try it. So I want to evaluate, I want to do a query selector against error form. Um, and I think I need to do dot end. Um, if I'm following this convention and then I need to do um, expect to contain I think this is right um, so what I can do is uh, not do that <laughs> do a then And so that evaluates this text. Let me just copy this in play just so I can modify it. Otherwise, I'm going to be jumping backwards and forwards. So this te uh, text or message, I should say. Um, expect message to equal or even just to contain let's put to contain in uh, the text and the text is required I think see what I mean by this whole thing needs to be uh, my ES lint is, is having a bit of a, a mare. It, it's trying to work out, you know, all the rules for all of these things, and it's failing. It's not great. <coughs> so to test, um, Tyrion has asked, what am I using for testing? For this, I'm using um, uh, da, 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 uh, I'm using Jest, right? I'm using Jest to test the unit tests, and I'm using um, Nightmare to test the to to spin up. Um, an electron application for me to then use that to test the the actual build of the site. Um, right. Let's see if we can get this. Now, this um, the course is going to fail. I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete that course for now because I know that that's going to fail. I just want one thing to fail. I could have just skipped it, I guess. And then what I'm to to run the tests, I do uh, run test acceptance. Now what that's going to do is it's going to clean the cache. It's then going to do a rebuild of the whole site. So we're now coming outside of development mode. Um, so we're now in, you know, as it would be building production JavaScript and CSS bundles. Because when you want to, when you're doing an acceptance test, really you want to be testing against, you know, the, the thing, the final thing, I guess. Um, so this isn't unit tests. Um, so it's passed the, the JavaScript thing. However, it's failed a bunch of others. So unhandle, promise, reject, warning. Oh, no, these, the, the, this is just telling me it's, it's taken time to do these things. But I've got an unhandle, promise, reject, warning going on. Um, 
Received value must not be null or undefined. Received value has null. And yet it's passed. Ran all test suites matching acceptance tests. So does this mean that I've messed this up? If I was to actually run this itself, if I go to uh, how to code well dot local is is the oops ah two seconds mo. HTTP It's always embarrassing when you can't spell your own website. <laughs> so I'm running, because it's in build mode now, it's not in develop mode, um, I've got a vhost on my local server here pointing to uh, this host, how to code well .local. So I'm seeing exactly what the test is seeing. So when I hit submit, we should have required. not right is it error form it should be email error there we go all right let's see if that does anything so we're gonna run this now I'm not gonna do a clean uh, because there's nothing really too clean so what I'm gonna just do quickly in my package.json file is I'm just gonna grab 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 uh, that just u, just hyphen u hyphen t acceptance test. So I don't have to do a rebuild. Oh, oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 wait. Maybe I do. And build, yeah, sort it. I don't think I've got just on the path. Let's just run that. The idea is that when um, when this actually goes out to to uh, you know some sort of staging site, this is what it's going to be running. You know, in a continual delivery kind of manner. So Jest looks at all the tests and then it discovers which ones follow that pattern. So I've got unit tests and acceptance tests. Um, and yeah, they have all passed. They have all passed. Whoops. Gosh, smash my tea into the microphone. That's embarrassing. Um, I have tea down my front now. Silly Willy. Um, yeah, so they've all passed. So let's uh, make this. So pro uh, I want to do profile acceptance test. It displays the form. Well, no, that's not really right. It um, fails. Or there is it shows email error um, it shows it shows error when email is not supplied awesome let's add another one Um, so this one is, it shows invalid. It shows error when email is invalid. Is invalid. Now, what we're going to do is put in an invalid email. <laughs> so we're going to do this. This is not valid. And the message now should be something else. I'm going to just run this and see if I can get the message back.
<coughs> Come on. Okay, no, that's not the right, that's not the, that's not the thing I wanted. Email. Email error. Are you saying that if I put this in to here... ...and hit submit... ...I should get that message. Not that message. Maybe I need to do... I don't think it's actually fired that test. Let's do profile. Um, no email. And then this one here, let's do invalid email. All right, let's run it again. I just scroll up whilst this goes through. Um, four past, five past. Six now. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, it, I don't think it was running because it wasn't in that describe. Awesome. Four, uh, four out of six. And then up here. Cool. Okay. <coughs> Wonderful. Right, I need to crack on and get on with some freelance work. So um, I'm going to commit this and then, and, you know, add some notes to the add, add some notes to the uh, to the board. But uh, yeah, and then on Sunday we're going to be working through the code review. Um, if you haven't done so already, do check out the Discord server. There is a coding channels channel, um, and on there uh, there is a JavaScript PHP um, cha a challenge for this month. If you submit them, um, it is, I'll just show you, codingchallenges.howtocodewell.net. I'll put that down in here. Um, this is the challenge. You've got until about Saturday to, to submit your challenge. Um, it is to create a JSON file, uh, a, a JSON file that has form configuration. And in this, uh, form configuration we have various rules uh, for validation and stuff if you want to you convert this form into HTML form based on the configuration of the JSON and then you handle that form submission via PHP when the PHP runs it will then create an XML file per form submission um, and there's, there's bonus points as well in there as well um, to submit your challenge go to the discord server the discord server is in here and um, there is a coding challenges channel. Um, submit your GitHub repository there. What I'll do on, on Sunday at 14.30 GMT is I'll review those live on Twitch. Have a lovely day. Speak to you soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.